Love you, Atlanta. Thank you for the honor of serving as your mayor. With Atlanta in my heart and Georgia on my mind, Keisha. That is our big breaking news story tonight, Aisha. Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms will not run for re-election. This is a story that in only a few hours has upended Atlanta politics and will have ramifications from now all the way until the November election tonight. Her communications director says the mayor will complete the rest of her term. We're going to learn more about her intentions tomorrow when Mayor Bottoms holds a press conference. But tonight there are a lot of political insiders who are just completely stunned and others who are now wondering what is next for the city's most important elected position. Let's kick off our coverage right now with the big story with Jeff Hollinger, who has seen a lot of big stories over the years in Atlanta politics. Jeff, this is one of the biggest, especially for the surprise factor of it all. Yeah, it has been stunning. It began as a rumor and then it escalated into a confirmation. Keisha Lance Bottoms has been mayor for a little more than three years, a short tenure, but one filled with challenges and pitfalls in the 2017 elections. She fended off about a dozen other contenders, including Caesar Mitchell, who was the city council president, then beat Mary Norwood in a razor thin runoff. Along the way, she was endorsed by everyone from future Senator John Ossoff to the rapper Killer Mike. As mayor, she dealt with challenges such as a cyber attack against city computers, social justice protests, the shooting of Rayshard Brooks by an Atlanta police officer, and of course, the coronavirus pandemic. As COVID-19 changed all of our lives, she went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Governor Kemp, issuing the city's own health safety regulations. She also was considered for a spot in then presidential candidate Joe Biden's administration. Mayor Bottoms also established the city's first full staff diversity office, eliminated cash bail bond, and spent a lot of time in capital on affordable housing within the city. But there has been the criticism against the mayor because of the escalating crime rates in the city that are rising and rising and rising. She was expected to face a strong challenge in November from City Council President Felicia Moore. Now expect many other names to enter the race to become the next mayor of Atlanta. It will be a full summer and fall. Joining me right now is 11 Alive political analyst, Dr. Andra Gillespie from Emory. Dr. Gillespie, we will find out her reasons for this decision tomorrow, but what does this mean in your estimation for the mayor's race come November, and how does it create a seismic swell as far as politics in Atlanta in general? Well, I expected that Keisha Moore would likely mount a spirited challenge to Keisha Lance Moore, uh, Keisha Lance, uh, Lance Bottoms in this particular race, but Mayor Bottoms was going in with some strengths. She was going in with incumbency advantage. Uh, she was going in with strong approval ratings. So there was uh, you know, a poll that, uh, whose top lines were released this week that suggested that Mayor Bottoms was in a pretty strong position. So her exit from this race opens the field up. And so I think the bigger question is, are we going to see nearly a dozen candidates run this time as ran four years ago, or will one of the existing candidates consolidate the field? Would you like to frame her legacy on a night when she opts not to run for a second term, or do you believe it to be too early? Um, I really want to wait to see uh, what she says tomorrow, if she gives any reasons for why she is choosing to drop out. I'm very curious about that. Uh, you know, I think that, you know, she will, you know, earn high marks nationally um, because of how she spoke up and responded to the police violence with a sense of understanding, but also with a sense of, uh, you know, pleading with people to not vandalize in a pretty powerful way. Um, I think the crime issue is going to be something, uh, you know, that people will, uh, uh, we'll talk about as a bit of a criticism of her record. Um, I think overall, because she served only four years, right, she's not going to be perceived with the same impact, for instance, as Maynard Jackson, who was able to serve three non-consecutive terms was as mayor. And in the modern history of Atlanta, this is unprecedented. This is a place that we have not been, we have not seen, we have not experienced, but we will get a political taste of it in the weeks, the months, and all of that straight ahead. It's going to be an interesting summer. Dr. Andrew Gillespie from Emory, thanks so much. We appreciate your time, your observations, and your views. Thank you. All right, this has to be a shock for many people close 
uh, to her. By her, we're talking about the mayor. In fact, in March, President Biden had hosted a, a fundraiser for Mayor Bottom. So this is going to be a story that continues to grow and certainly evolve, uh, not only tonight, but certainly in the weeks ahead. City Hall is always uh, a place of a lot of moving parts. It is a very interesting, mysterious place at times. And it is about to get even more interesting. And Jeff, the mayor plans to hold that press conference tomorrow morning where she will likely talk about this announcement in depth and give us a little more detail on that. Stay in the know with 11 Alive on air and online.